all right um <laughs> so earlier today at around 7 p.m i was installing the latest software 2023.7.10 with the fsd version of um, 11.4.2 and um, unfortunately that failed so the install was not successful I tried to reinstall the software in service mode but um, that didn't work either and I had a message which you can see if you go on Twitter I reported about this and um, so I ended up with a software update required message on my dashboard and um, schedule service and none of the autopilot features working whatsoever I mean nothing zero nada it even wouldn't um, turn off the, the turn signal when you switch from one lane to another and um, it was a kind of interesting thing of um, learning how to drive again after all those um, features so I'm not really sure why my USB thingy here doesn't work my camera but anyway um, so short story it failed um, longer story I made I tried to make a service appointment with Tesla and <laughs> apparently if you say that you have a software error and um, you make the appointment the app kind of I guess it scans your car or Tesla on the back, back end is scanning your car and it was saying you have the latest software nothing to do so I couldn't schedule a service appointment I picked a different reason than in the end like um, car says service required so that was working so I was able to make a service appointment which by the way I really need to cancel now and um, so yeah I ended up making an appointment and um, then I was thinking all I need is just a new software so let me just see if I can um, basically let me cancel this appointment yes um, so just kind of get the latest software pushed again so I called Tesla on a number that I have found after a few months ago I have found this number that actually does connect you with some service people in the end and um, so what happened is I was waiting for at least 10 or 15 minutes to get to somebody and I was successful talking to a guy he helped me as much as he could but he he could obviously see on his end too that there was some issue and um, so he put me on hold multiple times he asked other people other teams even and he was saying that um, by maybe later today um, but the latest on Sunday I should get this software pushed again and um, here comes the very important part he was saying that I should remove my camera drive my USB drive which as you can see right now it's not working it shows me an error message and he was saying remove this because we have seen this being an issue that part of the software ends up on the thumb drive not really sure if it is the download or during the installation or whatever happens and um, I suppose during the installation and that will lead to issues with not really being successful installing the software so therefore when it was being pushed again which was um, probably half an hour later after the phone call thankfully I went to the car removed the USB thumb drive and um, installed it again and it worked so in other words I do have 11.4.2 right now 
And um, that is quite awesome. And um, therefore, we can now, let me see if I can just, um, where did it go? Insert drive. Okay, well, I have cameras recording right now, so i take care of this later. And um, so I wanted to go the same route again that I did go today to the post office. That And I posted a video about this earlier where I found it very dangerous how um, FSD was kind of sending me into the right turning lane. And then from the right turning lane, even though I was going 55 miles an hour, it was sending me like on a 90 degree turn to the right. It didn't go back into the um, straight lane. It basically made the turn. And when that happened the first time, that was quite scary because I didn't expect this. And I was thinking it would go back into the straight lane as it has done so before. But nevertheless, it didn't. So um, there's a recording, there's a YouTube video of um, that issue when I encountered it. And um, so I'm trying to also film the dashboard. As you can see, I have found some materials, some veil. It is, I can at least see through it and it takes off the reflection. There isn't really any reflection going on right now at nighttime so much. But during the day, it is very, very hard to see the dashboard. And um, recording it works, but you have a lot of reflection. So, well, check out my other videos, you will see it's an issue. And um, I'm not going this way. It rerouted me while I was standing. So, yes, that's the way I want to go. And um, it is hard on the, the refreshed Model S and X to, to record the dashboard, quite frankly. The plastic part that is kind of curved makes it very very hard to um, capture the screen without any reflections and um, if anybody knows about how to record the screen on a model s or x that is a refresh then please <laughs> contact me um, i would like to know how to do this I know you can on the Model Y and Model 3, you can um, install a different screen in the middle um, and have an HDMI output. There must be something similar to this on, um, on the refreshed Model X or S. That would be nice. And... Um, yeah, off we go. I hope the Insta360 X3 is taking at least some decent video now of the drive. It is kind of funny. The GoPro will have like a good recording now of the dashboard, <laughs> but um, the rest of the drive will not be as enjoyable in the dark, I think. But we see. Again, this has not changed. I wish they would really fix this. It is clear that the car needs to go into the left turning lane. Why not signaling before going into the left turning lane? Instead of going into the lane, then indicating. 
that's not really a good practice. It makes it clearer to the people around you what your intentions are, so it should be, it should just signal before entering a new lane. So I have somebody behind me and somebody next to me. Ideally, I would like to be on this upcoming road right now without anybody behind me. So I might take over for a little bit just to make sure that people go around me and then don't have anybody behind me for what I hope is not happening again, but let's see. going into this one here by myself and so the route is going straight the speed speed limit here oh that was actually where it went the other day okay so I need to turn around try this again Try the entire thing again. <laughs> so what happened was um, the car was going in what what it is here to my left hand side, going in there to make the turn and um, ended up coming back out here again on this part here and would do it again which of course I um, intervened but um, it it was it would end up in an endless endless loop <laughs> it would just keep going that way and um, that's obviously not helpful so that was with um, the version 11.4.1 fortunately we have 11.4.2 I wonder if this was recognized as a bug other you know AI driver and dirty Tesla I think had the same issue two others um, I could see on Twitter it was messaged around too that people had issues with the car going into turning lanes instead of um, keep going and here we go Let me turn it to 55 So it was not going into this turning lane. I think that has improved. And I will try, try it the other way around because it happened. Oh, actually it's here. No, it's here. And it did not do it. Maybe because now it's dark and it, the, the markings are more reflective or maybe it is fixed now but there's always the tendency to go into those um, right turning lanes or left turning lanes if, if the same are on the left hand side to go in there and then of course get stuck in there because um, that's not the way to go if the route is telling you to go straight then um, you need to go straight. You shouldn't go into a turning lane. That's very clear.
let's see. Yeah. So at least with this um, see-through veil material here, I'm, I'm going to be able to recognize when there's force needed for the steering wheel, even though I'm holding it and I wiggle on it a bit, but sometimes it's not enough. And um, with that plastic that I had over it, I was unable to see it. It's very hard to see the screen then. And um, on this stretch, I almost ended up getting a strike. But um, let's see. Sorry, I disengaged because there was something on the road. But it was just a plastic bag. So I probably disengage for this pothole here. Let's see. I don't have anybody behind me. It is actually going a bit faster now here. Eleven point four point one was like almost coming to a standstill with those cones. Mm, maybe no, it's still faster. Have somebody behind me who's coming closer. Don't abandon the turn in the middle of the intersection after I change the navigation. So let's see if we can go back in this direction. Because it happened on the other side as well. Ending the, the trip and adding this one. So now, <clears throat> I couldn't really see where it was signaling to go. goes into the right lane again here. 
okay it signaled but it didn't go earlier today it was going like so exactly like this but obviously I have to truck now in front of me so it seems it's still trying to do this so it has not been fixed still an issue I will try the other way around one more time to see if it's still an issue I also recalibrated my cameras. I was thinking maybe that's something that could help. But, um, and it's very interesting. The cameras had been saying, you know, there, here we go again. Okay. I know you you know need to pay attention and that's FSD in the better version and so you know you always have to be prepared for the unexpected but what if you just don't pay attention and you end up like this or for somebody who's trying it the very first time <laughs> it is a bit of a interesting experience if that happens to you So we will do this one more time. Don't necessarily have to go to the, we can just go to the library. Yeah, let's try it one more time to see how it works in the other direction. I hope this is not going to end me in a um, copyright issue, so let me just talk over the music here. Yeah, I take this route. We can do that. So at least signaling before slowing down would be nice because I have a long line of cars behind me and none of them would know what I'm trying to do. The car is just slowing down and then almost when you come to a stop then you turn on the signal and that's not good.
it's my first time going this way I have never been here before so I don't know how the road goes here I have the same expectation as the car Okay, taking us back to the main road. It's kind of hard to see here. Okay. And I don't have anybody behind me, but I'm not really sure why we don't accelerate. It's 27, 28, 29. If there would be somebody coming behind me. So now all of a sudden we, we pick up steep, speed here. So here we have something like this again, like a right turning lane. Here again, none of them are being picked. I don't know if it has something to do with map data or what it is. Okay, we could go. Okay. So here comes the interesting part. Are we going to go into the right lane and turning again? Let's see. Oh, it made it out now. Okay. So it's definitely different. Okay. But it's still going into the lane. So not good. Not good.
you know, I guess I have to try this one more time during the day. Here we go. No. I was just about to say, here we go again. It was trying to go into this lane. And I honestly have to say, if you're in a lane, maybe you should just stick in that lane for a second and not just jump into the right lane. Sometimes, like with 11.3.6, it was moving away from the right lane, going into the left lane. So now it's trying to go into the right lane when it shouldn't. Um, there needs to be some more consistency. That's just too much all over the place. So going back on the interstate and then basically going back home and then that's a wrap. Earlier today I had some very, two very interesting experiences. One was on a red light like this, it was red, and um, all of a sudden the car started moving forward, not like creeping to get a better view, it's just kind of like, okay, I'm going. And that happened after a bigger truck, 18 wheeler, blocked the red light. And um, I'm not really sure if it was because of this, but either way, I had to disengage. And the other interesting story that I had today was on an intersection like this. The, I, I was supposed to go left. I didn't make it into the left lane. The car didn't make it. So I ended up in the straight lane. And of course, you know, left turn, gets green first here in Georgia most of the intersections here we go again what we're we going in here jeez so <laughs> I'm sorry um, continue with my story you just saw what happened so um, and I wasn't making it into the left turning lane, so I ended up in a straight lane, left turn gets green first, and um, we could go. And um, so then the straight lane gets green, and I end up going on green, and while I'm on the intersection, the, the steering wheel is yanking to the left and the car is still trying to make that left turn. Even though the left turn signal was already red. So, that was very interesting. And of course, I didn't have my camera a bit. Whenever you need it, you don't have it. I should probably just record every drive that I do. But 
but I'm glad to have FSD back and um, 11.4.2 now that's good interesting how quickly you get used to something new I remember when it was you know not single stock software when um, getting onto the interstate meant that you are running on a different software and um, all the FSD FSD was kind of, um, sorry, I need to focus here. Um, FSD was a different software branch. Okay, I'm tapping the pedal because people come fast here. Um, yeah, and now it's all one package. And it's pretty good. On the interstate it is. But that's very easy too. I mean, you have two, three or more lanes going in the same direction. You don't have any complicated intersections with traffic lights. Interstate traffic is easy. So it's very interesting, the speed limit on the other side is 35. Here on this side, it seems to be still the same, so I'm not really sure what's up with that. This happened before too. So what do we do now? I'm going, okay, we're going, okay. Mm. I don't like this. And I'm pretty sure others have the same issue and Tesla soon should be aware of that this is an issue. Okay then, let's see you next time.